there are a lot of people out there that cheat in their Minecraft speedruns, and it's pretty funny to watch. Like this first runner. Just watch the timer for a sec. And... There it goes. Yeah, that seems pretty slow. The runner grabs some stuff and heads into the nether, but all of a sudden has these weird berries in their inventory. I have no idea what these are, but whatever. When the runner fires a bow at some blazes, they die oddly fast, considering the bow is unenchanted. When they're trading with a piglin, the runner cuts the recording and returns with 16 ender pearls. Not even a little bit suspicious. They also just randomly cut when they're heading to the stronghold, which by the way is pretty easy for them to spot because of this patch of flowers. What do you know? This next runner loads into the world, but his pause screen is open, showing us that he cut the recording because your pause screen is not supposed to be open when you load a new world. This explains him spawning right inside of a village, where he loots every single house, no stone left unturned. The runner heads to a desert temple next, where he has clearly already been because of this one block right here. You seeing what I'm seeing? This block is supposed to be blue, so the runner must have just forgotten and replaced it with the wrong color. This is further explained by Oh! Well, actually he's fine, because he disarmed the TNT in advance. The runner heads to the nether next, where he finds a whole group of blazes just hanging out in the middle of a fortress, nowhere near a spawner. He heads back to the overworld next, and while he's exploring a cave, just mines right into the stronghold, where he suspiciously locates the portal right away, which by the way is already fully lit. He heads into the end, but then for some reason picks a fight with some endermen, and ends up losing. This next runner starts by loading in, and then heads directly directly to a ruined portal. Hmm. He finds four tools in the portal chest, but the maximum possible is three. When he enters the nether, all the lava near him looks normal. But remember that when you first enter the nether, lava has to flow to its final position, showing us that he has already entered the nether. We can also spot a ladder that seems to be the remnant of a failed clutch from a past attempt. The runner spends a lot of time in a bastion before heading out of the nether. Oh, the portal he built brought him right into the stronghold. Can you be more obvious? The end portal he finds already has six eyes in it, something that is possible but incredibly rare. Once he enters the end, we can see that a few of the crystals are missing, which seems weird, but most of this is invalidated when the recording freezes, and then unfreezes a minute later with the dragon being dead and the run being over. This run starts out pretty normal, with the runner just getting some standard gear from a ruined portal, but things start to get weird when he's putting together the portal, and there it is. He cuts the recording and returns with a bunch of iron armor. He heads into the nether and hunts down three blazes, but when he kills them, he gets seven uh, blaze rods. Yes. When the runner is heading back to the overworld, there's another strange cut, and right in the overworld, he finds like a million endermen. Guess that explains the cut. The runner heads to the stronghold next, but seems to already have an idea of where it is, and speeds up the whole process, which is pretty obvious. The next runner starts off by just heading to a village, where he suspiciously finds obsidian in a normal house. He finds plenty more obsidian in a black Smith and again in a normal house, and has enough to enter the nether, where he heads to a seemingly random spot in the middle of nowhere. When he digs down though, he ends up right on top of a blaze spawner in a fortress, showing us that maybe this spot wasn't so random at all. He grabs the rods he needs and ends up back in the overworld, where he cuts the video and just ends up in a completely different location. He digs right down just like before, and unsurprisingly finds the stronghold. And just to add to all of this, the runner also digs down horizontally in a very specific direction, and ends up right in the portal room. He enters a conveniently pre-lit portal, and then plays the classic My Video Cutout card. This next runner strangely spawns at the top of a village tower, where he finds some iron in a chest, and next the runner finds a lava pool, but there's suspiciously already some obsidian. He finishes building a portal and heads into the nether, where he passes what seems to be the remnants of a past portal, showing that he has already been here. He hunts down a fortress next, where he finds a ton of blazes, plenty of rods to go around. Once he's back in the overworld, he takes a look at this huge mountain, and then starts to literally scaffold hack all the way to the top. Top. Once he's at the top, he mines all the way down into the stronghold, and once he's in the end, he scaffolds even more. The next run must be pretty recent, because it's in 1.18, something we can tell from these huge mountains that the runner decides to climb his way up. He heads to a completely random spot on the top of the mountain, and digs right down until he's on top of a ruined portal. He heads into the nether and finds a fortress, where he follows an incredibly blatant path of blocks that leads him right to a blaze spawner. Once he's back in the overworld, the runner finds 
finds a village that just randomly has a jungle tree in it for no reason. He rides a boat out into the middle of an ocean and spots another boat just sitting there. So he hops out and mines straight down. What do you know? Into the stronghold. The runner heads into the end, but all the end pillars have ladders that just lead him straight to the top. The next runner spawns in and quickly realizes that he's stranded. He has a plan though. The runner digs straight down and finds an underground tree. Come on. He crafts a boat and rides it in basically a straight line across the ocean until he stumbles upon a conveniently located ruined portal that has some crazy loot. The runner enters the portal but cuts the video and ends up appearing in the middle of a nether fortress. Hmm. He grabs some blaze rods and then heads back to the overworld where he hunts down a village. But things get pretty weird again when he finds ender pearls in a village house. And even though it's only two, it's plenty to help him find the stronghold that ends up being very close by. Once he's in the end, the runner starts taking out crystals. The dragon loses more and more health each time a crystal is destroyed, until he only has a sliver of health left, making the runner able to pretty quickly finish up the run. The next run starts off pretty normal, until the runner finds a ruined portal with blaze rods in the chest, something that is obviously not actually possible. He then skips past a desert temple to head directly into a village house that gives him some insane loot, showing us that he likely already knew this loot was here, hence skipping everything else to prioritize it. He also finds a bed in a blacksmith, which just isn't possible. The runner strangely builds a portal with a lava pool, even though he already has 10 obsidian, something that makes more sense when he grabs his blaze rods and then builds a portal to exit the nether with that 10 obsidian. And what do you know, the portal takes the runner straight to the stronghold. He doesn't even have any pearls yet, though, but all is well because he finds plenty in a chest. Once he's in the end, there's a jump cut. Actually, two jump cuts. Actually, three. And after the third one, you can see super quickly in chat that the runner actually modified the dragon, likely just to make it perch, which it quickly does after these commands were entered. This next guy conveniently spawns right next to a village where he finds a diamond sword that has already been used, something that he clearly placed here before the run. He also spots three, count them, three golems in the village. Very suspicious. He crafts some gear with the iron from the golems, but then all of a sudden has obsidian in his inventory, which he uses to enter the nether. We can see an unlit portal right next to the portal that was just created by him entering the dimension. So it would seem like he took a stop in the nether before the run, but forgot to destroy the portal. This is further proven by this bridge leading him to the nether fortress that he clearly just built himself. He finds a blaze spawner next, or should I say two blaze spawners, and then heads to the stronghold, which he finds by just walking down a cave. He then follows a suspicious path of stone slabs placed in a very specific sequence. That brings him all the way to the portal. The next runner spawns right in the middle of a village, where he finds diamonds in a normal house, not a blacksmith. He then heads directly to another village, and directly to another, and another. At least try to pass it off as real. He heads into the nether next, where he finds this absolute whale of a fortress, and takes down some blazes before making his way to the end, where there's just no end crystals, and the dragon already has a ton of health gone.